What, what up, up y'all? I'm Dre Hall. And I'm Cash. Back with another video. Yes, yeah. Hey, we know it's been a little minute, man. Mm -hmm. It's been about, it been about, about two months, man, since we've been over here. We about to get back on this channel, man, and get this stuff popping. Yes. Today we got a video by Aperture. Shower thoughts that make me question reality. We can just change it up. Shower thoughts that make you question, question reality. reality. We about make to get us to question make reality. us question reality. <laughs> so if y'all new, hit the subscribe button, click on that bell, leave us your opinions, thoughts down below in the comment section. And, um... Let's get into it. Let's go home and see what we're just talking about. What if your entire life is flashing in front of your eyes, but you're already dead? Damn, I gotta stop it right there. Damn. What if it is? Right. Like, what if I think I'm actually talking to you? Or I'm actually making a video? But what if it's just like a flash, though, so I don't know. Like he said, it's flashing, so it's like, it's going like this. Going fast, that's mm -hmm. crazy. What if your entire life is flashing in front of your eyes, but you're already dead? If you're not dead, but alive, everything is trying to kill you constantly. Your stomach is constantly trying to kill you. Feeding it makes it stop. You need to drink as well. Being hydrated is a necessity. Drink your water. Normally, you empty your drink from the top, but when you use a straw, you empty it from the bottom. Your lungs are also constantly trying to kill you. Breathing resets that timer too. We really take for granted the fact that most of our body's processes are automated. Aging is a disease with a 100% mortality rate. Maybe that's why aliens aren't visiting us. Maybe they should visit Antarctica though. Because Antarctica is statistically the best place to have a baby, because all 11 babies born there lived, making it have a 0% infant mortality rate. It's pretty cool to think about that there are only 365 different birthdays for nearly 8 billion people. You live to be around 80, and you spend a third of your life sleeping. But when you sleep, you're just looking at the back of your eyelids for 8 hours straight. And to be honest, oh, sleep is just a free trial of death. So we're all dead. Here's some more shower thoughts. True. Right. Damn. A lot of TV shows have those fake laugh tracks in the background, so you know when to laugh at the really bad jokes. But what you don't really think about is, for the really, really old shows, while you're sitting and watching and listening to it, you're also, at the same time, probably listening to a bunch of dead people laughing. Relate. One day, they're going to be listening to a bunch of dead that, people. That makes sense. But you're also, at the same time, probably listening to a bunch of dead people laughing. Related. No, no, one day, laughing. there are going to be more dead people on social media than there are living people. If they still exist, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube even, will be a graveyard of content and information from people who lived hundreds of years ago. Right. It will become the biggest source of information for any event. You'll be able to see how people reacted to presidential elections, to the death of their idols, to the spread of new diseases, to everything there is. You won't be able to see how the world reacted to sliced bread, though. Bread is just a loaf of dough, so by that logic, cheese is just a loaf of milk, and an ice cube is just a loaf of water. Speaking of ice, something I find kind of interesting is that there have been entire civilizations who never knew that water had a solid form. The money you earn is never actually yours it's just your turn with it. Everyone works to survive, and all of the money that you earn actually belongs to someone else. There's a lot of jobs That's and true. businesses that- Just think about that for a second. The money is not really yours. Not like you... truly yours for real, because if you pay bills or you gotta buy groceries, you gotta give that money right back. It's just your and turn, just borrowing it's it. It's just so. your turn and get it. That's, it's, you people, know. it's mine, my money, mine. mine. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's you know, I never yours. thought about it in that way, you know. Dang. Yeah. Never actually yours. It's just your turn with it. Everyone works to survive, and all of the money that you earn actually belongs to someone else. There's a lot of jobs and businesses that bank off of the fact that things in your life can go wrong. Doctors only make money because you get sick. Mechanics make money because your car breaks down. Lawyers make money because you messed up really, really bad. Like, maybe you robbed a bank. But if you do try and rob a bank, you shouldn't have any problems with rent or food bills for the next 10 years regardless of whether or not you're successful. A jail and a prison are basically the same thing. That's, I don't know where you take that. Mm -hmm. Say so you shouldn't have a problem with rent or bills, bills. for the next 10 years oh, you've been. You're right. Because even if you get locked up, like I was just about to say, mm -hmm. then you still don't have to worry about bills and rent because you don't, you're not going to pay nothing. You got that. You're going to have food. 
But you just got to worry about people trying to fight you. Then, but that's sure. really got to worry about that in the streets too. Well, yeah, that's true. You got to worry about that in the streets too. So it's basically like the same thing. Damn. <laughs> Damn. If you do try and rob a bank, but, you shouldn't have any problems with rent or food bills for the next 10 years, regardless of whether or not you're successful. A jail and a prison are basically the same thing, but a jailer and prisoner are completely different. The company BIC is known for making lighters and pens. Both of these happen to be things that are frequently stolen, which is kind of a pretty good business model if you think about it. Yeah, Teachers make money off of the fact that you don't know how to like add numbers together or speak a language properly. And speaking of language, you ever just take time to think about letters and words? They're weird and confusing, but kind of cool. It takes more letters to spell the word short than it does to spell long. Also, all the E's in the word Mercedes are pronounced differently. When you say the word forward, your lips move forward. When you say the word back, your lips move back. Oh, when hurricanes oh, form, no. the most dangerous part is wow. the eye. It destroys everything in its path. It's right in the middle. Which also happens to be where the letter I is in the middle of the word hurricane. It's kind of cool. Oh, hurricanes are deadly. Everyone tends to talk about and consider the question that is, where do we go when we die? And it's a pretty good question. But no one ever asks, where are we before we were born? Right. The world hasn't changed much over the past 700 years. Today we take pictures of food and put it on Instagram, and a lot of people get super frustrated by this. But during the Renaissance, people would sit around I for weeks it. on end, painting a table full of food. You know, you've probably walked past someone that you played video games with online before and just didn't realize. Similarly, <laughs> you see people every single day that you will never see again in your entire life. Have um, I seen that before? Mm -hmm. Probably never see this person again. Like, yeah, it, it, see this person don't you again. think of that and just be like, no, I, I probably never see this person again. Somebody you seen yesterday. You would never see that person. You might not never nothing. see that person again. Or like your uh, like subscribers or um, uh, followers on Instagram or Facebook yeah. or something like that. You might be walking past and not even know it. Not even know it, yo. <laughs> hey, this it, yeah. video make you think. Mm -hmm. Every event that has happened, everything led you both to the same place at the same time only to veer off path and never meet again. Mm -hmm. On a similar note, you've probably seen someone on the last day of their life, and you could have never known. To make this more fun though, your future wife is probably telling your boyfriend that they'll be together forever. How cute. You often hear that life is a roller coaster, and I get it, it feels like it. But when you're on a roller coaster, aren't the downhill parts the most fun? Yeah. You also often hear things that are so easy a caveman could do it. The problem is that, Cavemen were able to start fires without lighters or matches, and were able to kill animals that were three to four times their size. So, is it really that easy? If you've been using technology like computers or cell phones for years, as most of us have, you've probably scrolled for hundreds or thousands of miles. But honestly, you scrolling doesn't mean you've actually moved anything. When you scroll on your phone, nothing changes except for the color of the pixels on screen. Nothing is moving, it just seems like it. When your laptop overheats, it freezes. No British king would have this issue though, because no ruling British king has ever used the internet. Before the invention of phones, the question, where are you, was probably never asked. Eventually, when you're ordering something or sending a letter or something, you may have to put Earth as a part of your address, maybe when you can live on the moon. You've seen more Right, that makes sense though. Before phones, nobody was in, where are you? Because you right there, like, I'm right here with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are you? We, we're here. We're here, right. Right here, which... Eventually, when you're ordering something or sending a letter or something, you may have to put Earth as a part of your address. Maybe when you can live on the moon. <laughs> You've seen more of the surface of the moon with your own eyes than you will ever likely see of Earth. <laughs> Actually, crazy. if you think about it, about half of the universe is in your field of view at all times. But for now, humans are on Earth. But we're weird, and a little broken. Brushing your teeth is really the only time you ever clean your skeleton. Cleaning is just rearranging dirt. Speaking of cleaning, you should probably really clean your glasses right now. They're disgusting. You really can't clean something without making something else dirty. You also can't move your top teeth. Go ahead and try. You can't hum while can't. holding your nose shut either. Go ahead. Let me go back. Go ahead and try. You can't hum while holding your nose shut either. Your nose Go ahead, shut. try this one too. You can't hum while holding your nose shut. Mm -hmm. 
Can you? Can you write? Wow. If you tried it too. You can't hum while holding your nose shut either. Go ahead, try this one too. And while you're at it, you also can't snap your fingers inside your mouth. You ever realize that humans cut down birdhouses to make birdhouses? Right. If you've ever clapped your hands before, you never actually stopped. There's just a really, really, really long pause between claps. We do have some redeeming qualities, I guess. We live a lot longer than most animals. If you're over the age of 30, you are alive before every single dog that is currently on Earth. We argue a lot, though, over really, really stupid issues, like whether or not we should eat other animals even though we are animals ourselves. But if vegetarians don't like each other, is it still considered beef? Let's flip a coin and decide. That's crazy. Flipping a coin isn't really a 50-50 thing, though. It's random. In a vacuum, a robot can flip a coin millions of times and get heads every single time. Humans only really use it to make decisions less stressful, even though it's a purely random event. Machine learning is becoming a bigger and bigger part of our lives every day. But you observe machine learning all the time. Your brain. Your brain is really, really good at learning things. This is shown in your dreams. Your brain can recreate scenarios with people you've known for years and just have full-on conversations with them that your brain made up on the spot. Even with people you just met, and it can all feel so real. But no one has ever dreamt about popcorn. Until it happened. And honestly, the person who discovered popcorn had to be super confused when it happened. Do you ever think about how arms on chairs are just like chairs for your arms? Also, if two mind readers are reading each other's minds, whose mind are they actually reading? Right. It's weird. But what's also weird is that blue is usually seen as cold, while red is usually seen as hot. Mm -hmm. But blue fire is hotter than red fire. Wow. It's likely that another kid is going to grow up in your childhood home, and have a lot of the same experiences that you did while growing up there. They'll use every room, toilet, staircase, and light switch that you did. But why are they called light switches? At right. the same time, they're also dark switches. Almost everything right. you have ever owned is still on Earth somewhere. It's a dark switch. Unless you're Elon Musk and send your car into space. All of the materials needed to create today's technology has existed since the beginning of the Earth. It just wasn't in the right form or put together yet. You're living in an age where you can be smarter than almost anyone in the past 2 million years. You can be smarter than almost all 100 billion people who have ever lived. You have the world's information at your fingertips. But you'd rather sit here and listen to me tell you what I think about in the shower. I'm flattered, really. But please get out of my house before I call the cops. That's crazy. <laughs> that was deep. It was. That make you that that, that make you think a lot, yo. Think, for real. Wow. Like with the light switches, why do you call it dark switches? <laughs> yeah, you put it on the light, light switch. I don't know, light switch. I Some guess it's called a light switch. switch. Because it, it cuts on the light, that I'm figuring that's why. You see dark switch. But then you, could, you can cut it off and it's dark. <laughs> You really got some good ones. They make your mind think a right. whole lot. We got to do some more of these, y'all. Let us know how y'all feel about this video down below in the comment section where other videos y'all would like to see. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Get us to 1K. We on the way there, y'all. Mm -hmm. so we love y'all. Appreciate the support. We catch y'all next video. Catch y'all next one.